The local church of Jesus is the world's greatest hope. Vibrant, healthy gospel communities devoted to reaching the lost and advancing the kingdom of Jesus. Right now, Emmanuel is investing in seven church plants across the nation. Each of these pastors and young church leaders are passionate about reaching the lost, making disciples, and impacting their region with the love of Jesus. Over the last decade, Emmanuel has invested in far more than just these church plants. And it's some of those stories that we want to focus on right now. Five of the church plants that we've partnered with, prayed for, and cheered on over the last 12 years have moved from their infancy to now being thriving, self-sustaining hubs for gospel ministry. And one of the most exciting components of this is that in each of these cases, God has provided buildings and land in miraculous ways, permanent homes and stability for these five churches. Our first church partnership was with New Hope Baptist Church in Torrington, Connecticut. Pastor Andrew Browning and his wife Sarah moved from North Carolina to Torrington to replant New Hope, which at the time was a small congregation of about 30 people. Within a matter of months, God began to bless and New Hope experienced rapid growth. In the coming years, their congregation would grow to 160, but there was always one problem, and that was space. So together, New Hope began praying for a more permanent home. In the fall of 2019, God answered that prayer by providing this church with a 16,000 square foot permanent location on a beautiful piece of land just north of Torrington. In the last four years, the church has completed more than $300,000 of renovations to their worship center and their kids' spaces, God bless this faith and New Hope is now averaging over 400 in weekly attendance between two services. They've seen over 200 people follow the Lord in baptism. We thank God for allowing us, Emmanuel, to have part in replanting this beacon of hope where lives are being changed every week. In 2017, God called Pastor Matt Chapel and his wife Katie to plant Rock Hill Church in Rancho Cucamonga, California. Rock Hill, like many of our church plants, rented buildings, they hosted services out of community centers, really anything that they could do to temporarily solve their need for more space. During the same time, Pastor Jim Arate, the lead pastor of Calvary Church across town, felt the Lord leading their church to sell their buildings and potentially merge with a growing, thriving church within the area. Well, God allowed Matt to cross paths with Jim in recent years, and he unfolded what is today a miracle story. After about two years of prayerful conversations and deliberate seeking, on June 30th of this year, Rock Hill hosted a merger service where 200 members from Calvary Church officially merged with Rock Hill Church. As a result of this merger, Rock Hill moved into a beautiful church campus worth about $12 million in a premier location in Rancho Cucamonga. Rock Hill is now blessed with an 800-seat auditorium, a large kids' venue, a cafe space, outdoor fellowship areas, and spacious classrooms and nurseries. Since the merger, Rock Hill is averaging 1,100 in attendance between two Sunday services. And just a few weeks ago, they baptized 57 people in the Pacific Ocean in Orange County. Let's move on to our partnership with City Point Church in Tempe, Arizona. Pastor John Guy and his wife launched City Point with a group of about 50 people in 2019. Every Sunday morning, the church met in a sublease comedy club. In 2021, God opened the door for City Point to acquire a more permanent property in the heart of Tempe. This property sits on four acres of land with a total of 40,000 square feet spread across six buildings on campus. What originally started as a conversation about City Point renting the declining church's fellowship hall ended up becoming a conversation about City Point merging with the church and gaining full ownership of the entire property. In the last few years, the church has completely renovated a 400-seat auditorium as well as some other spaces for Bible teaching and fellowship. In 2016, we had the privilege of being the sending church for Josue and Becca Ortiz as they planted Gracia Abundante in Mexico City. Their first service in August had 25 people in attendance, and it was just the start of the gospel transforming lives and families in a very needy area. 
In 2021, the church had just celebrated their fifth anniversary and raised $350,000 to purchase a more permanent church home. 229,000 of that we were able to provide as a church. Shortly after raising this money, the church entered into a legal process to get the deed for the land so that they could legally build their own building. This apparent setback was providential because the church today has outgrown the building that they had planned to build. God is clearly preparing them for something greater. While waiting for a more permanent solution, the church has completed renovations on a new auditorium space and they moved to three overflowing services every Sunday. The congregation has grown from 25 to 700 in the last eight years. They have developed a very large discipleship and counseling ministry on YouTube that is serving their church family and community. The church has also helped plant four other churches in Mexico. We are very excited about the ongoing partnership with the Ortiz family and Gracia Abundante. The most recent church we've had the privilege to help establish is Electric City Baptist Church in Schenectady, New York. This year marks six years of gospel ministry in the greater Albany area for Anthony and Bethany Stafford. This couple started with literally no support and no team, but God gave them free meeting space in the inner city and Anthony started preaching the gospel and teaching the Bible every Sunday to whoever would attend. From the earliest days, we prayed that God would provide a permanent location for Electric City. In 2022, God answered our prayers and allowed the church to purchase a Methodist church which was no longer meeting. The building was worth more than $500,000, but Electric City was able to purchase it for just $168,000 truly a miracle of God's grace. During this time, Emmanuel is able to contribute substantially towards the church's cash payment for the building, as well as a new sound system. Anthony reported that the first Sunday in the new building was Easter Sunday of 2022, with 140 people in attendance, passionately worshiping God and praising Him for His provision. Electric City has moved from a church plant with eight founding members to now being a thriving church with a 10,000 square foot facility and a 220 seat auditorium to grow into. Think about it. In the last decade, God has allowed our church to partner with five miracle stories of church planning and development. Five churches that did not exist are now flourishing, renovated in permanent locations, each one a powerful lighthouse for the gospel. This is what God does when we prioritize his kingdom, his church, and his gospel. He changes lives. We plant the seed, but he brings the harvest. Let's ask God to continue to make us a healthy church that plants healthy churches everywhere.